cell phone video shows a violent encounter between a Roanoke County business owner and a customer asking for a return in June. This video has hundreds of shares online this week with people asking if a business owner can treat someone like this and not face punishment. Today, 10 News reporter McKinley Struthers spoke with everybody involved, as well as the Commonwealth's attorney who fought for charges. You don't want us here? That's fine. We'll just take our money elsewhere. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, can I have my money hey, back? Hey, no, you're going out the door. Can I have my no, money back? No, going out the door. Go. She's going out can the I door. Can I have my money back? I'm telling you. Can I have my money back? Door. Get the out of my my money back, please. This was in late June at Exotics and Aquatics in Roanoke County. Judea Strong says she was wrong. His mom tries to grab me and throw me out. Me, my, don't put your hands on me. This is, you this is, don't touch me. Several people are trying to hold him back like he's absolutely enraged. He's about to give me my money back. Do From there, things get shaky. Strong says he picked her up and threw her out the door. She left concussed and bruised. No, that's not true. Daniel Rosen tells a different story, one he says starts before this recording. Well, for two years, her and her boyfriend came into the store and belittled my employees and always was berating my mother. He says Strong did not record her cursing out his mother, the lady here, before going to the counter. Strong denies doing that. He says he never picked Strong up. They tripped and fell over this rug. Did your response was excessive? No, because she was standing there with the camera pointed down and her middle finger pointed at us. You don't put your hands on somebody, especially someone three times your, you know, three times smaller than you. It all started because Strong's boyfriend took to Facebook posting this scathing review of the business. They banned him. They told him, you know, we would like if you not come back to the store. She believed it was just her boyfriend banned, so she returned. Rosen was charged with assault and battery, but was found not guilty this week by a substitute judge. Why share the story now? After the charges were dismissed and everything, I was like, well, this this isn't right. I can't let this happen, so I want to let other people know. Rosen says since Strong took to Facebook, his business has been getting calls accusing him of racism, even though Strong did not mention race in my conversation or in her Facebook post. I assure you I'm not a racist. I have many ethnicities working for me, and I'm friends with them. McKinley Strother, 10 News, working for you. And Roanoke County Commonwealth's attorney Brian Hollihan shared this statement with McKinley. He said, quote, at trial, it was our position that the defendant's use of force was unreasonable and exceeded that which was legally justified under the circumstances. My prosecutor requested that the defendant be found guilty as charged. The surveillance footage from inside the store no longer exists. And even if it did, Rosen says it did not capture good vantage points.